You guys might be thinking that I have already declared what the best ROM is for the Redmi Note 3. So basically, what the reason of me making this video? It's simple. To showcase once again the best AOSP ROM that I have experienced quote unquote till date. It's Paranoid Android. So what makes it the best? Does it even have anything? If it does, show me how to install it. Well, let's get started. Let's start with the basics. You need to have an unlocked bootloader and TWIP recovery installed on your device. Things cannot begin if you don't boot into it, right? Boot up into TWIP recovery by pressing the volume up and the power keys together. Then from there go to wipe and check all Dalvik system data and cache and do the swipe to wipe. It's gonna take a while so be patient, have some chips, watch a cricket match if you want and once you're up, go ahead to install, select the ROM and the GApps package which I'll be giving links in the show notes and flash them by swiping it. Yup, you got it, the basics are over, it's time to get into Paranoid. This is not new to us, is it? We have travelled through ROMs before. This one is a very short and a delightful journey. Well, let's jump into settings and we have this ROM running on Android 7.1.2, well, that's the latest version that Google has to offer. But sadly, there is no mention of Android security patch level, so no clue about that. It might be of January, it might be of March, or if you're lucky, it might be just of July. The bottom of the river. If you look forward to a ROM only for the sake of customizations, then straight up, this ROM is not for you. You better look for the Resurrection Remixes or the AICPs and so on. With very minimal tweaks, hell, this ROM does not even have the pixel launcher baked in. It has gesture support, but that's just to jump to the camera. Scrolling across the menu, you won't help yourself a bit, but to find the button tab. Don't expect much, guys. Do not, just do not, because it just has the options to switch to the on screen buttons and the long press and double press customizations. That's it. But it does support split screen, so yeah, you can expect the regular nougat features in this ROM. So, what is the purpose of showcasing this ROM to you? Is there any? Yup, there is. The reason is stability. The only AOSP ROM that I have installed, which absolutely has no bugs. It's very smooth performance. No jitteriness, no stutters, nothing. Hell, no frame drops in Nova 3 as well. The Paranoid team, my hats off to them because they have done an excellent job in keeping it clean, minimalistic and absolutely not compromising on performance. So you expecting something more? My script ends there guys. I know it's short, actually very short but you cannot really comment much about the ROM which is so clean which absolutely keeps it minimalistic gives you no features but in return in return for the customization gives you amazing performance I can use those fancy words like amazing buttery smooth performance outstanding and stuff but that will unnecessarily make the video long with no extra credits added to it so if you're looking for a ROM with marvelous performance and yeah it stops there as the tweaks won't even count, go ahead with this. You will thoroughly enjoy this ROM. But yeah, be prepared to have a miniature Google Pixel in your Redmi Note 3. So yeah, that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button and that red subscribe button along with that bell icon to join the notification squad. Do let me know in the comment section if you like this format of my videos and I'll try to bring you more of this sort. Don't forget more videos on the Redmi Note 3, Mi 5, the new B, Moto G5 Plus, Android 1, Euphoria.
and Lotu are also coming up. So stay a freak and stay a geek. Until next time, this has been Joyadito. Thanks a lot for watching.